Yo, what's going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel, or if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Today, this video is going to be full of some useful stuff for you in creating 3D elements. I made a bunch of tutorials talking about how to use 3D, whether it's using Cinema 4D, whether it's using Element 3D, whether it's using any 3D software that you guys prefer. I want to show you guys a bunch of awesome and useful sites that I found and finding free 3D models you guys can use for your videos and finding three 3D characters you guys can use for your videos. I'm even going to show you guys some free tools you can use to animate them, all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, if you guys are new here consider subscribing like I said earlier leave a like on this if you do enjoy check out some of my other videos more step-by-step -step stuff today this is all gonna be just straight information so make sure to remember the stuff that I'm talking about you guys either write down the names of the sites bookmark them or something like that or add this video to a playlist just so you can come back and remember these resources so anyways let's start off with some free 3d models you guys can use and then we're gonna talk about some of the characters so if you guys just google free 3d models you're gonna find a bunch of them ones that I like to use on a regular basis are turbo squid CG trader um, Sketchfab. But if you guys look around, sometimes you can find some sort of 3D printing site where you can get an OBJ or whatever kind of um, extension file you guys are looking for. There's a bunch of ways out there. Just make sure you utilize Google. But 100% Turbo Squid CG Trader. Search on their website. You can search by free or you can look for paid models. Search which kind of file you're looking for, whether it's a C4D file, whether it's an OBJ, whether, whether it's an FBX. Bunch of awesome, useful stuff there. You guys probably already knew about those ones. But here's some ones that aren't as mentioned. There's an awesome channel out there called The French Monkey. TFM style I'm pretty sure his name is pretty sure he's a motion graphics guy check out his channel and check out his website if you go on his website there's a bunch of awesome free stuff you guys can download quick little tip in there I also want to mention grayscale gorilla their website they have a bunch of really awesome plugins extensions and models you guys can use super useful now in terms of textures the site that I really like to use is called polygon you guys can sign up for a subscription there and I'm pretty sure that subscription gives you a bunch of monthly downloads you're able to use I'm not sponsored by them I just want to mention because this is what I use personally but if you do look up free textures there's a bunch of other awesome websites check out the description of this video I'm gonna link everything that I'm talking about there now that just covers some of the basic sites I like to use on a regular basis next I want to mention another awesome way you guys can get some really cool models and then I want to go in and show you some applications for these 3d models so one awesome thing I recommend you guys learn to be able to create some of these 3d models is photogrammetry there's a bunch of apps out there you can even scan things with even your phone take a bunch of pictures bring them into your computer and then create 3d models I'm gonna link you guys this awesome tutorial on how to do that like I said he uses either a DSLR or a camera you kind of rotate around it bring it into this free software and then it'll stitch it all together and bam you have an easy to use 3d model now now in terms of the application of this from my own perspective I'm a music video director and I love blending in 3d elements to my videos if you really want to up your game I recommend that you guys look into this you get some sort of 3d software something like blender you can get for free definitely a good starting point I use cinema 4d but like I said there's so many different ways you can use this if you are just starting out I recommend you look for some 3d models that are dot obj files or dot fbx files usually those are pretty universal models that will go into most 3d softwares you can also use obj models and c4d models to bring into element 3d if you guys are using that for after effects and there really is endless possibilities you can do with this like i said in my example i'm a music video director so i like being able to use these 3d assets in a sort of creative way or to create some sort of awesome effect or to change the scenery in some sort of way but there's a bunch of other uses all right now let's get to the other part of this tutorial and this is 3d characters now there's some really awesome websites out there where you can get some really cool 3d characters and one of my main objectives whenever I was first learning about how to do this was creating some sort of 3d character that could actually look like my client so that I could have my regular music video footage and then snap bam turn him into like a cartoon character a 3d model character something like that you guys can get some really cool models in general using these websites so first I want to mention is Daz 3d now Daz 3d is a free software like I said all links in the description recommend you check this out because this is a really awesome site that I like using and I've mentioned it in some of my past tutorials where you guys can get cool people models cool animal models, things like that. I used it for my wolf tutorial, and basically you get into Daz 3D, you set up your design. There's a bunch of awesome extensions that are built into their own online store, like the look at my hair plugin that I used for my wolf tutorial, where you can get some awesome realistic rendered hair on animals. You can go on their store and you can find a bunch of other models that people create for Daz 3D. Once you find the model that you like, whether it's free or paid, you bring that into Daz and then you export that into any file extension that you want. Whether you want to bring it in Cinema 4D, Element 3D, Blender, 3ds Max, all you need to do is just export it as an FBX, OBJ, or whatever file extension you are working with. Bring that in there and then start working off that. So that's a really awesome, useful method. I recommend you guys do that. Now, next thing I want to mention, I made another tutorial on how to do this, is Adobe Fuse. Now, the thing I like about this is it's an Adobe product. If you guys have the Creative Cloud, you already have this for free. So check out Creative Cloud, download this, 
made a full tutorial on this i'm gonna link you there if you want the full step by step but basically it just gives you a bunch of free little presets you create your character how you want it and then you can export that and bring it into any 3d software like i mentioned before now the cool thing about this is you can use another website which is run by adobe to freely animate this and this website is called mixamo now check out mixamo awesome awesome website like i said it's run by adobe and if you are using adobe fuse you can export the 3d model that you created right into mixamo and start animating it from there and there's a bunch of cool little preset animations that you can throw onto this now, i recommend that you guys do save this website because not only is it useful for adobe fuse all these other websites i'm going to mention gives you these 3d models you can bring them into mixamo and then mixamo can animate them so it's an extremely useful tool like i said check it out and if you want the full step-by-step -step tutorial click down in the description now let's get into some of the more juicy options you guys have for creating really detailed models now, probably the hardest method is if you actually sculpt them yourself it's a very niche kind of thing you have to have a real skill set and work at this to create your own models it's literally like sculpting except on the computer so if you guys are into that i'm going to leave some resources down below but some little workarounds are that another awesome software is iClone. you guys can get some really detailed models similar like daz except i think it gives you a little bit more options i'd say it's kind of like daz and adobe fuse mixed together where it gives you the wide range of daz models and capabilities with that kind of easier interface to be able to change and manipulate different things now on to the last two things i want to mention two super viable ways you can do this now i mentioned with the models that there are a lot of photogrammetry apps out there or softwares for free you guys can take a bunch of pictures of anything that you want to create a 3d model out of bring it into the computer together into an actual model and you can use that for your projects same goes with creating characters now i made a tutorial on how you can actually 3d scan your face just using this awesome app called TRNIO. I'm gonna link the full tutorial on how you can do that. I created a face scan of my own face, super easy, and it actually wasn't kind of blurry. I didn't have to bring in a ZBrush and mess around with it. That's a super simple little way you guys can get introduced to it. Now on to the more extreme version of this. There's actually places you can go that are full body scan photogrammetry studios. Look it up, it's 100% a thing. With kind of the craze of 3D printing, these things have been popping up. You may see some little local stores where you go, they take your picture and then you can print out 3d little figures of you your family things like that there's a big market for it and i think in the future it's going to get a lot bigger so there may be more of these studios popping up near me i think there's only like a few of them say for example for a music video shoot you want to go and create an exact perfect 3d model of your client I'm guessing it's probably around 100 200 maybe a little bit more than that you go there you get the photogrammetry scan and then they'll email you all of your little obj files those photogrammetries take the information they make it into a 3d model and then they can email you that actual 3d model which you can then then use with the other websites that I mentioned in this tutorial, such as bringing it into your 3D software and mixing it into other 3D scenes. You can use Mixamo to animate that 3D model of yourself. Let me know if you want me to do this in a full video. I can go out to one of these photogrammetry studios, get a 3D model of myself, animate it in Mixamo, show you guys the whole step-by-step -step process. I think that would actually be a pretty cool video to see. And I think that that could actually be pretty game-changing in terms of music video directors or just kind of really creative videos that you guys are working with. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to talk more about this 3D stuff. I know it is a little bit different from my Premiere After Effects stuff, but we're gonna be talking about more content as a whole this video is kind of rare because this is really just information that i'm telling you guys most of the time it's step by step and you guys can really follow along with what i'm doing but let me know what you thought about the video as a whole in the comment section down below anyways guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting and i'll see you guys later